Hey guys, it's Jeff. This week's Honorable Mention Monday gets awarded to Death Note by Sugumi Oba and Takeshi Obata. This is a wildly popular manga that was released in 2003. The story follows Light Yagami, a highly intelligent high school student who is bored with everyday life. After school one day, Light picks up a notebook that he finds on the ground, called a Death Note, which was dropped by a death god named Ryuk, also known as a Shinigami, who is just as bored in his Shinigami realm as Light is here on Earth. Ryuk drops the notebook in the human realm to see what'll happen if someone picks it up and starts to use it. The power of the death note is such that if you write someone's name in the notebook, then that person will die. But you also have to have their face in your mind as you're writing their name, so that people of the same name do not get affected. There are a lot of rules that come with using the death note, but at its core, basically all you have to do is write someone's name down, specify how you want them to die, and at what time. But if you don't specify how you want them to die, then that person simply dies of a heart attack. Light decides to use this death note to rid the world of criminals and to attempt to create a utopian society, given the name Kira by his followers, which is a Japanese translation of killer. With so many criminals randomly dying of heart attacks, though, the police quickly take notice and employ L, one of the world's best detectives, in order to find out who is killing all of these criminals, because naturally, Light wants to remain anonymous. Throughout all 12 books in this series comes one of the best anti-hero versus detective stories out there as L and Light continuously try to outsmart each other, with L trying to pin the murders on Light and Light trying to shift the suspicion away from himself. The artwork is incredibly detailed and remains enthralling throughout the entire story. Every single character in this story is likable, and although Light is a killer, it's hard not to root for him at times. I actually wanted both sides to win. And sometimes it's even difficult for the police to want to catch him because oftentimes they'll express their opinions out loud of saying, you know, technically he is making the world a better place. Unknown to them, though, as Light gets deeper into trying to rid the suspicion of himself being Kira, he begins to murder innocent people that get in his way and ultimately loses sight of his original intention of using the Death Note. What I like about this series is that it's often recommended as a manga for first-timers who are curious about getting into manga, but aren't really sure where to start. This is my first and only manga that I've read so far, and what I really like about it is that it has a set beginning and end of only 12 books in the series, whereas some other manga series can have 20, 30, and even 40 books to the series and never seem to have an end in sight. It's incredibly easy to get through one of these books in one sitting, so flying through the series is easy enough. I actually just finished book one within the last few seconds from that last scene. All right, I'm kidding. But to be honest, I'm not even really that into manga as a whole, but this story is just that addicting. And if you're not really interested in reading the manga, you could also watch the anime, which I'm about 99% sure is a scene for scene adaptation from the book. Please do me a favor and read this manga, even if it's the only one that you ever read. I'll see you guys next week for another Honorable Mention Monday.